Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle sample uh, schemas on an Oracle database 12C installation. So as you can see here, I have a Linux machine, uh, CentOS 7 uh, Linux, that has Oracle 12C installed on it. So if I echo my uh, Oracle home variable as you can see uh, it's it's a 12.2.0 uh, version of Oracle and if I echo the Oracle seed variable it is set to the ORCL uh, database so if I start up my listener now my database listener so it is started then I connect to my uh, database with SQL plus And then I start the database and the database is now started and if I go to uh, SQL developer this is the uh, ORCL database it is a, a non-container database so if I connect to it so now I'm connected to it if I go to other users, as you can see, there is no uh, uh, sample schemas here. The sample schemas, if you know, are the HR, the BI, the OE. Uh, so there are like five or or six uh, schemas, which are useful if you want to play with some data and uh, learn to perform queries and uh, other type of operations. So this is. Uh, an empty database ORCL is empty it has no data in it and we will see <coughs> how to uh, download uh, uh, from github the sample schemas and then install them on this uh, ORCL database so the, the data uh, the schemas that we are going to install uh, are the HR schema the human resources schema the order entry schema the product media schema PM, the information exchange uh, schema, the sales history, and the business intelligence. So when we install them, we will be able to see uh, them here. Okay. Before starting uh, uh, installing the schemas, you need to know that <coughs> the, the scripts that we are going to run, the first thing they are going to do is uh, delete these schemas if they exist so you need to be aware of that because maybe you have like similar schemas and you do not want them to be removed so any schema with the names of HR OE PM IX SH and BI is going to be removed and the instructions that I am going to show you uh, during the process uh, in this video work on Linux and similar operating systems so if I go back to my uh, Oracle uh, to my Linux uh, terminal I'm going to, to leave this open with the SQL plus I'm going to open a new one I will zoom uh, here so the first thing uh, is go to to a location where you want to download the sample schemas I'm going to access uh, my home directory which I am already in but just to show you how to do it then I'm going uh, to install git uh, so on my machine I already have git so as you can see I have it but if you don't have it you can do so do yum or apt if you are if you are on uh, Ubuntu or Debian install git 
but uh, as I said I already have it just to show you the command so already installed nothing to do then I'm going to copy and paste the command that will uh, download uh, the sample schemas for us from github so this is the command so it's going to start uh, cloning the repository actually the command is git clone so and then the path to the repository so this repository is going to be downloaded and saved on my uh, home directory and it is going to be uh, downloaded in a uh, zip format once the repository has been uh, downloaded you can access it access the folder where it is downloaded you can do ls to see the contents of the repository so the script that we are going to be uh, running to install the schemas is this one make sample next step is to change all embedded paths to match uh, the working directory uh, we will use a Perl script to make the changes which replace the occurrences of the token uh, uh, sub CWD with our current uh, working uh, directory which is for me home oracle uh, db sample schemas so we can see it if we do pwd this is my working directory so let's run uh, the Perl script I'm going to copy and paste it paste it here so it's done next you need to make sure that uh, the necessary Oracle in, uh, environment variables uh, have been set to be able to to run the installation script so if I go back here to uh, SQL plus and I do show parameter DB name so it's ORCL just to make sure that uh, I am using the right uh, database and you need to be uh, running this script using uh, a privileged access uh, user so the user for me uh, is sys so there is no problem with uh, privileges so in order to run the script you do add uh, here on SQL you do add then uh, the path to the uh, uh, make sample script so I can co copy the path from here pwd so this is the path paste it here and then uh, copy the uh, file name which is make sample dot sql But I need to add to this script uh, some parameters. So I need to give it these parameters, which are the system password, the sys password, the hr password, the oe password. This is for the for the schemas, of course, for the users. The pm password, the ix password, the sh password, the bi password and then the name of the table space that is going to be used for these schemas and then the name of the temporary uh, table space and then the uh, sorry and then the path to the uh, log uh, directory and then the connect string so I'm going to uh, remove this 
so if I e replace all the passwords with Oracle so I'm going to use Oracle as a password for all the users and keep the users table space and temp table space as uh, table spaces uh, for this command and use this uh, folder as the uh, log directory and then use this string as the connection string so if I do uh, enter this, com this command is going to be uh, running and installing and run the script <coughs> again it's going uh, to start creating the schemas and populating them with uh, data it's going to take uh, a couple of minutes probably So now that after a few minutes the uh, script has finished installing uh, the schemas and this is like uh, a summary for uh, the different uh, objects that have been created. So for example the countries table in HR schema has 25 rows, the employees table has 107 rows the inventories uh, table in the order entry schema has like 1100 uh, uh, rows and so on and so forth and now if I connect uh, if I go back to SQL developer and I am already in the ORCL database but if I do uh, reconnect okay and then to as you can see here I don't see the uh, in the in other users and other other users I don't see the sample schemas so if I do refresh and now I can see them so this is the BI schema this is the HR schema IX schema order entry schema PM schema and and the ace the sh schema so if i open the hr schema go to tables countries data so as you can see uh, this is the countries uh, table in the hr schema and it has 25 rows as we have seen here 25 rows if you go if you go to the employees one it should have 107 uh, rows and indeed it has 107 rows so it seems like uh, our schema's installation has been successful a couple of notes here about the uh, the script that we have uh, run so for this path the path to the log directory you have to add a trailing slash in the end so you have to put this slash here in the end and for the uh, connect string to the database you can use uh, a pluggable database as well as a non CDB database so in my case I am using a non CDB uh, database but if you have a pluggable database that is part of a uh, container database you can use you can use it here no problem okay it makes uh, no difference and last but not least if you want to uh, remove uh, these schemas you run the you run this script drop underscore sch.sql uh, so this script is going to uh, remove 
all these uh, sample schemas for you so that's it i hope uh, this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching